Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Another day, another case of censorship of classic literature, Agatha Christie. They're coming for Agatha Christie now. Another day, more stupidity. Um, and I, I put this quote up here, this passage from 1984, because it's very appropriate that uh, every record has been destroyed or falsified, every book rewritten, every picture has been repainted, every statue and street building has been renamed, every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute, history has stopped. Nothing exists except in an endless present in which the party is always right. And, and mm -hmm. here we are, guys. We have seen so many examples of sensitivity readers run amok just in the last couple of months, especially in the UK. Roald Dahl and uh, you know James Bond books, and now Agatha Christie. Uh, rumors of the UK versions of, of Goosebumps getting the sensitivity treatment. So we're going to talk about it because mm -hmm. this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's out of control. I mean, there are instances sometimes where I think that yes, I can understand changing something because it has like a, a, a very negative racial slur in it or something that was written at a different time, and maybe you know I can understand that. I can understand blocking that. Out. Even just you know putting a space there or something and, you know, and noting yeah. it was there but you took it out but then there's that and then there's you know some of the changes they're making which are downright stupid so let's talk about these downright stupid changes before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys almost 300,000 subs thank you so much for the support greatly appreciated uh yeah so check this out Agatha Christie classics latest to be rewritten in Woke Madness coming from GBN, Britain's news channel. Uh, everybody's just calling it woke now. They're not even hiding it. They're just like... No, they're all just using it. It's I like mean, whatever. It is what it I is. I don't like it's using insane. it. No, you know what? It is what it is. Because I'm at the point now where it's like, you know, I, I used to be a little more concerned about hurting people's feelings because some people really just have a heart for social justice. This isn't about social causes or social justice. This is about freaking control. This is about yeah. rewriting history. I just history. don't like using the word because I think it's just like, I mean, I think sometimes cases it is warranted, but I just don't like using it. I think it's madness. overused at this point. It is overused. In but then it, so it was a stupidity. So Yeah, it's just gotten to a point where it's like, we don't know what else to call it. So whatever. It's woke madness. Uh, this is coming from Deadline. They're not going to put woke madness in the headline. Agatha Christie, uh, Perot, Miss Marple, classic mysteries rewritten for modern sensitivities. I can't. Modern sensitivities. Uh, Best-selling novelist in the world. Christie created endearing popular sleuths such as uh, Perot and Miss Marple and the Daily Telegraph reports that new editions of both of these series had original passages amended or removed by publisher Harper Collins. Again, she's no longer with us. Yes. So it's not done with her permission. Yep. Telegraph states that digital versions of new editions of the books written between 1920 and 1976 include text stripped of descriptions, insults, or references to ethnicity particularly for characters Christie's protagonists encounter outside the UK. For example, uh, in the book of Death on the Nile, published in 1937, um, they reference Nubian people. It's been removed, as have several references to non-British characters' physiques. The word local replaces native. Okay. But that's literally what... If you're native to an native area, means. that's what it means. No, you're local to it. It's racist to say otherwise. A line in Christie's debut novel, The Mysterious Affair at Styles, which has Perot commenting on a character being a Jew, has gone. But that they're but they are Jewish. If you're that's that's not an insult. Well, this isn't even one that had this isn't even the article that has some of the other cuts they had. Well, we'll have to find it, but they were talking about that they cut out stuff that was like, well, those, I didn't like those kids looking at me with their something disgusting eyes and noses. So the Guardian had some other examples, and they were talking about um they talk about the Jewish or gypsy. Um, actually, I'm part gypsy, so that's funny to me. A female character's torso as of black marble and a judge's Indian temper. And it removes such terms as oriental and the N-word. Okay, well, I can get some of that. Okay, the N-word, I'll define. Yeah, some of those that's, I can understand. You know, that's a, and the yeah. word natives was local, which is stupid because it means the same is thing. Is that the N-word they're getting rid of? Natives? No, no, I don't think so. Nubian? <laughs> no. no. But I love this one part. They're talking about children, and the woman's complaining about a kid pestering her, and she says, they come back and stare and stare, and their eyes are simply disgusting, and so are their noses, and I don't believe I really like children. So they change that. They come back and stare and stare, I don't believe I really like children, because apparently saying their eyes are disgusting and their noses or whatever, <laughs> that's, that's hateful. I'm like, 
There's a lot of people who don't like kids and think that their eyes are disgusting. Some of the changes are just stupid. Uh, she had such lovely white teeth has been removed. Yes, because, you know. Because it makes people feel bad who don't have white teeth. The smokers, I don't know. The smokers all feel bad. It's stupid. All right. Sensitive. This is coming from The Guardian, by the way. Uh, they have more more crap here. And you want to talk about woke madness. That is this entire publication. Sensitivity readers are a comparatively recent phenomenon in publishing that have gained widespread attention in the past two years. They're making dumbass decisions. Yeah, they vet both new publications and older works for potentially offensive language and descriptions and aim to improve diversity in the publishing industry. They're paid low wages. But though. again, again, I want to point out, if they're if, if they aren't in there saying, "Hey Harper Collins, you got all kinds of problems with these books," like they're out there looking for things to change, to say it need changed because they don't get paid at all, and they don't have publishers giving them money to do it. Yeah. So here's here's the thing. We we did a whole video talking about the rise of sensitivity readers and how they need to be fired because they are looking for problems. Anytime you bring a consultant in, whether it's you know, sensitivity reader or a DEI consultant or whatever, their job literally is to find things wrong, even if there aren't any things wrong. Because if enough people brought them in, they said, no, nah, this is fine. You really don't need me to rewrite this. Well, they're not going to get paid. No. And other people are going to be like, why are we paying sensitivity readers? Because they don't bring anything to the table. And again, like it's, you know, I can see why you change things like Indian temper or N word or things like that. I don't think people, most people are going to argue with that. But some of the things they, they change are just downright effing stupid. Yeah, they talk about Roald Dahl being one of the, the biggest examples. I mean, you're not allowed to use words such as fat or ugly, and then they have to do, like, you know, verbal gymnastics to, to get the same point across. They've actually written entire passages in these books to be like, you know, with the witches, like the witches are bald because they're not human. Well, like China you know. Chocolate Factory, the Oompa Loompas are small men, not they're small people, because that's not fair to say they're all yeah. men, even though they were all men. That's so stupid. It's just so stupid. Um, you know, they're <laughs> talking about James Bond removing sexist language. Like, we know that that is a personality trait of James Bond, mm -hmm. right? That he's... He's always looking for booty. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, you can't say that. Kind of, like, I, I don't Well, now let's not. They took that out because that's offensive. So ridiculous. So you ridiculous. Know, I'm offended by sensitivity readers. Are they going to get rid of the sensitivity readers because we're all offended by them? Uh, I think they need to. But they're like, yeah, they've, they've um, risen to prominence in the last two years. I'm like, that's about the time that Wizards that's of the been Coast. been two years. They've been it's around. been longer than that. But I mean, I think they were mostly at certain publications. I know like a lot of graphic novel publishers would have them. And now, um, you know, then it moved on to like tabletop gaming where Wizards of the Coast, you know, would bring sensitivity readers in to find every damn ridiculous thing. I think what it's going to take to get rid of them is for book sales to drop off a cliff. I mean, the backlash toward the Roald Dahl censorship was so fierce that they had to offer classic Roald Dahl books, too. Well, I was going to say, what's, what's going what's to be really telling, and if I were the publishing company, I'd take note, if all of a sudden old copies of these books that are like on eBay or whatever start going up like crazy and their value increases, at, you know, a lot. That'd be the giveaway right there. The people aren't interested in your new versions. You're not selling them, but the old versions are going for a lot of money because people want to keep the classic as is. Um, things are written in different times and people understand that they aren't stupid. I, it's, I mean, if it's for a school or something, I can understand maybe like I wouldn't reward it. I would just, you know, say, well, there's, you know, Maybe some of the words, it wouldn't be, they wouldn't be printed. Like it would be a blank spot or something yeah. like that, you know, and then explain, well, because it was written different time and they use terms we don't want played in the school or whatever. But I'm like, for the most part, why change it now? It's just, just put a note, like a letter at the beginning. This was written in a different time period. They had different ways they worded things and they described things then. We understand that that'll be the best way now, but the, the books, the books are still solid. Because somebody has no, to be. They won't get paid. They won't get paid. Very, very little. Because it's not about being, it's not even about getting paid. It's just about being on it's just any other job like the blogs and everything else. Get yourself into a warm seat and then acting like you did something. Yep. Um, and all you've done is deface and destroy classic works of art. Uh, congratulations. You've put pants on the Statue of David. I hope you're happy. This is so stupid. Are we going to wrap this up? Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support 
and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.